Hello everybody, today we are going to be doing a new thing that I want to do called Nostalgia Craft, where today I will be reviewing a mod that is similar to a mod that I used to want to play as a kid, that way you could make zeppelins and stuff out of any block you wanted and make your own little zeppelin. Today this mod is called the Eureka Ships mod, and where you can basically do the same thing except it's a bit more advanced. Today, the main items, we have the oak ship helm, the spruce ship helm, uh, they're, they're just all the wood types for helms. We got the balloons, which are used to make your machine fly. We have the ship engine, which makes your vehicles faster. We have the anchor, which I'm still figuring out. I'll, if I figure out what it does, I'll put it in the video. Turns out with the anchor, if you put a redstone signal on it, it will stop your vehicle from moving. You can still turn a little bit, but it will stop it physically from moving forwards, backwards, or any of that. We have the bolasts, bolasts, whatever it is. If I figure that out as well, I'll put it in the video too. And then we have the floater, which allows your machine to float in the water. And to make these items, to make a helm, you need four sticks, three fences, one gold ingot, and one oak slab. That's to make whatever helm you want out of any of these wood types. The ship engine. You make it with three stone, not cobblestone, just normal stone. One iron ingot on the left, one blast furnace in the middle, one glass pane on the right, and three smooth stone at the bottom. And the anchor. The anchor is made with two leads on the top right and left, two iron ingots in the middle and top, two iron ingots on the bottom left and bottom right, and one block of iron on the bottom. And now for the floater. The floater is made with four string around a block of like whatever plank you want. And now the balloon. The balloon could be made with four white wool surrounding nothing in the middle, four paper surrounding nothing in the middle, four phantom membranes with nothing in the middle, which will give you 32 balloons, and then four leather surrounding nothing in the middle, four balloons. And to make the ballast, the ballast is made with four stone and four cobblestone surrounding nothing in the middle, as per usual. And now I'm going to demonstrate to you how to use any of these vehicles. So here I made a little demonstration ship. I have three floaters on the bottom and just made like a little wood plank thing. And I put one engine on the back so it goes faster. Without the engine, it goes pretty slow. But with the engine, it makes it go way faster. And the more engines you have, the faster it'll go. But anyway, to make the, your ship build work, you need the helm and you place it down. Then you shift right click it and then you press assemble. Once it's assembled, you start noticing, oh, it's moving up and down. It's starting to shake a little bit. This mod has its own physics for the vehicles, which is I find really cool. The old mod that I was thinking of never had physics like that. But this is really impressive. Also, this mod can work with the create mod, and you can make so many contraptions with it. So, yeah, once we get in, we just right-click it once. It's pretty cool. But now... If we add a little engine on the back, and then put coal in it, then we can go faster. Also, one thing you have to be careful of, these vehicles, any vehicle, they have weight to them. So make sure you don't have too much heaviness on one side, otherwise it'll start tipping. And you don't want it tipping, or flipping, or whatever. Okay, the next vehicle I'm going to show you is a flying machine. So here I made a little flying machine, has a l balloons on this fence, two engines to make it faster. And then all we got to do is shift right click, assemble. Once it's assembled, it's finally a vehicle. Right click it, and then we can start moving. As you notice, it's floating a bit. Once you hold spacebar, it floats. You can start flying with it. And then to go down, you just hold V. Now you have your own little flying machine. It's really cool. And it goes super duper fast with two engines. Woo! 
What I have here is my new invention, the fighter jet. Or well, it's not really a fighter jet. It's just a jet, an airplane. You know, you get what it is. But this took me not too long to make. I am not the best builder, but you get the point. You get what it is. So we added two engines in the inside. And as you can see, there's balloons everywhere, so it's able to float. And we made it a little bit comfy. Oh, it's the other way around. Now we just shift right click, assemble, and then just right click it again. And then we you can make whatever you want fly. And as you can see, it's not as fast as the other one because wait, our little jet is heavier than the other one, so it doesn't go as fast. So if I wanted it to go super duper fast. Also, you can modify the jets or like whatever you made while it's flying, which is really cool. You don't have to like disassemble it and then redo it, blah 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 blah. You can just do it right wherever you want. Which I find really 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 cool. Because I hate it. I'd hate it if it was just like you have to disassemble and then you can make it. But no, you can do this. And then you just put coal in each one of them. And then once you put coal in each one of them, let's see how fast we go. Oh damn! That's a little bit faster. I like it. Now we have our own little plane. Look at the flames coming out. This is like a real jet now. Whee! What I like to do, it, it's not really good, but I like it because then it doesn't fly away if I ever need to land. Uh, you shift right click and press either align or disassemble. Align so it gets in place and then disassemble to, you know, make it stay in one place. So then, when you get out, it's not going to float away. It's now physical blo blocks. That's the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy the Nostalgia Craft, I would love to continue it. And I would show you more of the mods I used to want to play as a kid. You can support me on Coffee if you want to donate there so I can make more animations or do more things with YouTube. And if you enjoy the video, like, subscribe, tell your friends about me, then you can see more cool content that no one else does. But yeah, that's the end of today's video, hope you enjoy, and peace.